Oh my god, it looks so. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Lynx? Just hanging out in my patio. This is nice. Is, is this your spot, bro? Yeah, I just purchased this property. This is nice, man. Yeah, you know how it is. You know, we big ballers type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I, I read Cigar it, shop's I doing good. Cigar shop's doing good. I'm glad. Hey, you know what? Rami, I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm, I'm glad. I'm hopefully. I'm, I'm hoping the next time I step in there, it's not in a toilet. It's not in a toilet again. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Uh, let, let's go talk inside and in upstairs. I'm gonna go right. talk to my office. Sounds good. So, <laughs> so, how you been doing, bro? You know, I've been doing good. Been doing good. Business is booming, as you can see. Just purchased his mansion. Yeah, yeah. How much did you get it for? If, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, I don't really. I don't really kiss and tell links. Come on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You but know it's, what? I it's can, multiple uh, I M's. Can... You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. We got we got a live live figurine of Mr. K right here. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit! Yep. Custom made too. Nice. Yes, sir. You know how it is. All custom artwork here, all from the 1700s. Right, 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 <laughs> right. I see you're a fan of the tiger. Yeah, of course, of course. You know you have to move like a tiger in these streets. That's what my mom used to always tell me. Hey, man. No, no. I get it. I get it. You know. Well, you know what I don't like. What's that? Fucking rats. And I think this picture really paints it. Paints a good, good, good description. That is actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of rats either, bro. Yeah, neither do I. Why don't you take your seat, Links? All Let right, me just close right. my laptop here. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I can sit down here. Remember, why don't you go to the other side of the table then, Links? <laughs> so talk to me, Links. What's going on? Uh, well, obviously, you know what, Ram? Uh, <laughs> Rami, the last time, you know, you and I met, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was a situation that I kind of didn't, I was, I wasn't hoping the outcome, you know, what it was. No, for right? sure. Uh, of course. Now the guys just to kind of, you know, when I spoke to you that night and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, when I came back and I spoke to you in regards to si the situation with the, uh, with those guys that I was running with, you know, let, let me give you a little bit of history about those guys too, Rami, if that if that's cool. All right. So those guys, I actually so prior to the mayor, uh, you know, taking all of our money and shit, right? Um, you know, there was a dude that I used to, you know, the, the this guy I I that I used to hang with by the name of Darnell. He introduced me to those guys, right? And Darnell said, "I'm not going to be around. You know, maybe you guys can hang out." I said, "Cool." You know, so that's when I met Matt and you know a couple of the other guys. Right, mind you, before all this shit happened between you and I, I only was running with these guys for like a, like a few like a few weeks, so it wasn't it wasn't a long term thing, right? But you know, after everything, uh, you know, everything came, you know, everything uh, came to light, and you know, we got into our situation. And I know the shit that with you and I, I get it, but you know what I mean. And it was between you and I, right? And this shit just got fucking weird, right? I'm not saying from I'm not saying from your end. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that night, you know, me and Matt got into a disagreement and I didn't I, I didn't agree with a lot of things that he was doing. And you know what I mean? And. And that was it. And I said, you know what? You're not going to listen to me, because one thing about Matt was that I couldn't just like you that day. Everybody at the fucking, mm, at the, the chat uh, at the cigar lounge. This guy does not know how to. Um, how to how to use common sense in certain situations, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Right. So with that being said, you know what I mean? I cut ties with them. Um, I got out of the whatever the gang app and all that shit. And uh I don't know if you know Vinny or Hutch or Tug spoke to you, but later on that week, uh Vinny and them ended up coming by so you have the, to use the uh, emote chat studio and we spoke. Right. You know, and I kinda explained to them I go pretty much to make a long story short, Rami. Shit got weird with the with those guys. I'm not, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the other guys. To the point where it's like, I don't want nothing to, to do with them. If you know what I mean. Mm. Right? It got weird to the point where it's just like... And I'm a pretty level-headed <laughs> guy. Like, I'm not... Like, I've been around the block. I'm not a dumbass. You know what I'm saying? But I knew what, what, what this was turning into. And it's something I did not want to be a part of. And true, at the end of the day, too, Rami, like... I've known you for quite a bit some time. Obviously, you know, I know, mm. you know, being, you know, close with Zolo... For, for like for a long time too right that's why i wanted this shit to end and that's why i paid you i said yo rom i go listen i go i just want this shit to be done 
and over with. And I feel that in the future, I feel that me, you know, having that affiliation with you guys from like before can be beneficial on both on both sides. I, of course, I completely agree, completely agree. But my, here's my thing. The 175K yeah. was just to, you know, get out of the meeting alive and all that. Now, I understand. Fuck your crew. You left them, whatever, whatever. Are they, uh, like, still around? Or are they still coming around? And I bro, I haven't seen them. I haven't heard from them. Like, it's been a minute. I haven't, to, to be honest with you. Because that day, too, I got, like, I got them out of my businesses and shit. Like, I, when I mean I cut ties, brother, I cut ties. Yeah. All right. So, what are you proposing here? I just want it, like I said, bro. That's why I paid you the one seventy five. Chad, what do you think? Handed. You know, you, you know what I mean. And I'm just out here just do my solo dole shit, bro. You know, you know what I mean. I do a little bit of, you know, obviously, you know, like I'm back to like, you know, doing a little bit of, you know, street shit, not gang shit, but street shit, in the sense where it's like, you know, I kind of. Again, I kind of renovate some houses, you know what I mean? Mate, you know, right? Looking to get back into, you know, doing some, uh, you know, getting that rush back. But okay. as far as the, like, like, as far as like wars and shit, bro, it's not, it's not that I'm not up for it, bro. But to me at this point in my life, it's something that's just not part of my cup of tea right now. All right. Now here's my only, here's my thing, all right? I yeah. think we're, uh, you're squared away in my books. I think enough time has passed that this has been, uh, this is deaded for me, but I just have one request. What's that? Need you to stock an Itali RSX and an Itali GTR for me at, at uh, Vinewood Elite Autos. That's my only request. And then you're squared away in my books, Mr. Lynx Jones. All right, which one is, is it? Easy <laughs> laughing. Uh, both the Itali RSX and the Itali GTR. And I need him stocked ASAP. Needed, so, it, needed it in yesterday. All right, all right. Well, listen. Yeah, I could try <laughs> to get it in, 100%. Now, the issue now, this came down from the manufacturer, right? So there was an issue last week where uh, on the last stock re-up where people were holding cars and all that shit, and it came down from the uh, it came down from the manufacturer, if you know what I mean, that that is going to be a no-go. But what I can do is this, I can request it, and once we do get it in, right, between me and you, I can let you know. How this, about that? This isn't usually, so you're saying, you're essentially saying no. I'm not, no, I'm not saying no. I say I could try my best to get you that car, 100%. You have a Mini in stock right now? Uh, which one is it again? The GTR. The Italian GTR. Um, I don't even have my tablet on me. Uh, let me check what I can do. I can go to the dealership. Here, text me the names, the make and models, and then, and, and then I can let you know. Now, Rami, I want to talk about something else. Yeah. What's your, what's your, you've always been a, I've always taken you as a, as a, as a somewhat, oh, here we go, established businessman, entrepreneur, mm. as some people mm. say. Mm. I think you and I can do some business in the future. Of course, you know, I'm a businessman. Yeah. And you know me, I'm a businessman too, right? And I think I think you and I, you know, in the future can definitely do some good business together. What's that going to be? I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, I'm always I'm always open for investment opportunities. If the kickback makes sense. And uh, like I said, bro, I've always had an affiliation with, with you guys. And I want to keep that going. All right. So that, what are you what are you thinking? You, what, what, do you have any business ideas right now or opportunities? Anything. I mean, anything. I mean, ideally, ideally, my next business venture wants to be a move is to be is to have a radio station going. But mm. this is how you make money off the radio station. Standing on you business. <laughs> yeah, let me hear it. Actually, uh, Rami, I don't know if you know this, but you know, I'm a, like I got kind of a, like a very strong radio background as well. So okay. what I'm about to tell you is about to be, you know, OK, right. We start up a radio station, me, me and you. Yeah. OK. And the okay. way we make money is this. We hire two or three people to sell commercials for the radio station. Okay? We can start off like we go to the businesses, six star for anywhere from 50 to 150K, depending on how many spins that they want. Right? 
because the commercial radio station is based off what? It runs off commercials. And that money we get, we split down the middle. As far as producing the commercials, I got that in the bag. Mm. So you're saying, like, come on down to uh, Stroke Masters just, Repair Shop type shit. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Or, like, yeah, like, like you know what I mean? And if they want it, we, I just got to figure out. I got to talk to the government to see when they're willing to do something like Because it was in the talks at some point, right? And now the thing is we have enough music in the city to push it on rotation. Hmm. Okay. You All right. Get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Now, how? You like that idea? I like the idea, but how, how would who are the people that we need to go to uh, get this done? I can, I can, uh, I can, I can talk to the government about it. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Okay. And then what? And then what we could do is we can hire some commission people, right? Give them ten percent or twenty percent each off sale, and then we just bank the rest. Yeah. No, I like that idea. I like that idea. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 get the wheels moving on this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, sounds good. Yeah, and then we'll be in touch about that. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, listen, you gonna be in that uh, tennis tournament tonight? Uh, nah, I'm, I wanted to, but uh, I got uh, dinner yeah, you plans ain't like with that. The, yeah, you ain't like that. All right, yeah, yeah. Me, bro. Nah, no I can take it Monday. I'll take you to the courts. Yeah, we'll do a little nah, nah, friendly nah. wager. No worries, man. You ain't like that for real. All right. Um, bro, I got bro, I got bro, I got Liberty City, bro. I got my mom like inviting me over for dinner plans, bro. You can't say it's no to family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. You wanna be a you want a scaredy cat? You can be a scaredy cat. That's all good, bro. All right, let's do okay. Anyways, you know what actually you know what Rami, you know what killed me about that day that that day you shot me outside of your outside of your safe house or whatever it was? Yeah. You know what really hurt me the most, bro? Is that that shit happened on Drake's birthday, bro. October twenty fourth. That's your fault, bro. You don't fuck. It's scary hours right now. <laughs> it's fucking scary. True. It's scary hours right now, Lynx. You know that. That is true. Part three. All right, Rami. Good talks, bro. I'm glad. I'm glad we spoke. Yeah, of course. Um, I'll have my assistant see you on your way out. And uh, if there's anything you need, just uh, give me a call, Mr. Jones. Yeah, yeah. Let, Let me hey, know. Do me a favor. Hey. Yeah. I'm not yeah, letting go on this fucking uh, these cars. Make it happen. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. Also, hey, let uh, let Tugs and uh, Zo know that 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 we're good again. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. I mean, I don't really see them, but yeah. All right, brother. Uh. Hello. Actually, you know what? Let's. You know what? I'm gonna put my money where you're. Let's go hit the courts now. Me, bro, you don't me, want this me, fucking smoke, bro. Me and you. Me and you. Forty k wager. All right. Let's do it. All right. But you do don't it. really want this, though. I don't. I don't think you understand, like. Let's do it. Let me go change up. You let me know. You send me a ping. Where do you want to meet? Which go course? to the go to the college to the one. Uh, it's near here. Yeah. Oh, near the university. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Right. Cool. All right. Bye -bye. All right. Peace. Bye bye. Bro, he don't want this dude. Like this guy thinks he's good at tennis. It's crazy.